Ever think about how some video games just scream to be turned into movies or TV shows? There's a whole world of stories just waiting to be told on a bigger screen. Following the record-breaking success of the Super Mario Bros. movie and the captivating narratives of The Last of Us in the Fallout TV series, which drew in 65 million viewers in just the first 16 days, it's evident there's a massive appetite for such adaptations. Hey everyone, Chris Lawler here, and you're tuned in to Back to the Podcast. Today we're diving deep into the video games that deserve a shot at Hollywood stardom. First up on our list is Chrono Trigger. Released back in 1995, this game wasn't just revolutionary, it was a narrative masterpiece. Created by RPG legends Hironobu Sakaguchi and Yuji Horii, pardon me if I didn't get those right, with the iconic Akira Toriyama handling the art, this game was more than just a typical RPG, it was a narrative adventure that transcended time itself. So, I imagine a series that captures the essence of time travel where actions in one era ripple through to others, weaving a complex tapestry. Whether envisioned as a live action epic or a high quality anime series, Chrono Trigger's blend of fantasy and science fiction has the makings of a blockbuster. With its cult status among gamers and its rich multi-layered storyline, make it a prime candidate for adaptation. Think about the visuals, dynamic eras from prehistory to the future, each lovingly crafted to reflect the original game's charm. All while introducing a new audience to its timeless adventure. Shows like Castlevania and Arcane on Netflix have proved to be successful formulas. This wouldn't just be about capitalizing on nostalgia, it's about bringing a rich narrative to a broader audience, proving that some stories are truly timeless. Racing in to our number 9 spot is F-Zero. Originating from the early 90s, this series set the standard for future racing games with its breakneck speeds and futuristic aesthetic. I envision a film or a series combining the pulse-pounding pace of speed racer with a gritty neon drenched world akin to Blade Runner. Plus, after seeing how they turn something wild and wacky like Twisted Metal into an entertaining show, I think something with a bit more edge and tone set against a futuristic backdrop could work just as well. Each racer, especially the enigmatic Captain Falcon, offers a unique backstory ripe with potential for deep character exploration. This series wouldn't just be about fast cars and flashy races, it could be about the drivers. Who are they? What drives them to risk their lives on the track? F-Zero could explore themes of ambition, rivalry, and redemption set against the backdrop of a hyper-commercialized future. It sounds like a visual spectacle just waiting to happen, with each race more breathtaking than the last, all while delving into the human element that makes sports so compelling. At number 8, it's Banjo-Kazooie. This quintessential 90s platformer from Rare captured the hearts of many with its colorful worlds and humorous quirky characters. The potential for a family-friendly animated film is immense here. I can just picture the vibrant, lush landscape of Banjo-Kazooie brought to life with today's animation technology, complete with the misadventures of Banjo the Bear and his sharp-beaked friend Kazooie. This film could be a riot of colors and comedy, appealing not just to those who remember the game from their childhood, but to new, young audiences as well. And with the antagonist, the crafty witch Gruntilda with her rhymes and schemes would serve as the perfect foil to our heroes, introducing elements of classic good versus evil with a modern twist. Plus, the game's original music and sound effects effects could be woven into the score, bridging old and new in a celebration of one of gaming's most beloved duos. Coming in at number 7 is The Legend of Zelda. Since its first release on the Nintendo Entertainment System in 1986, Zelda has not just been a game, it's been a sprawling mythos. Excitingly, unlike other games on this list, The Legend of Zelda adaptation has already been greenlit, with Wes Ball attached as the director. Ball, known for his work on the visually captivating Maze Runner series, has shared that he plays plans to steer clear of using motion capture as the primary method for the live-action adaptation, opting for more a traditional approach to bring Hyrule to life. And the timing of this couldn't be better. With the fantasy genre soaring in popularity thanks to series like Game of Thrones and The Witcher, Zelda offers not just action and adventure, but a deeply woven story of courage, wisdom, and power. Each episode or chapter could explore different corners of Hyrule, from the dusty Gerudo deserts to the mysterious forest of Kokiri each teeming with its own dangers and legends. With state-of-the-art CGI and a commitment to character-driven storytelling, The Legend of Zelda could be the next big fantasy phenomenon. As this project develops, fans are eagerly waiting for more information, hoping that the beloved world of Hyrule will be brought to life with the respect and depth it deserves. 
At number six, we have Wolfenstein, a series revered for its bold alternate history where the Nazis won World War II. The franchise, which rebooted with great success in 2014 with Wolfenstein The New Order, offers not just mindless action, but a deep, narrative-driven exploration of a dystopian world. The story centers around B.J. Blazkowicz, a character who embodies the resistance against a well-established Nazi empire. His gritty determination and relentless fighting spirit make him an ideal protagonist for a dark gripping action drama series. For this role, an actor like Alan Richson, known for his commanding presence in Jack Reacher, could be a perfect fit to bring BJ to life, with the intensity and depth the character demands. This series could delve into the themes of fighting against all odds, espionage, and the secret rebellions that simmer beneath the surface of a society gripped by tyranny. It's a narrative ripe with complex moral dilemmas and the eternal flicker of hope in the darkest times, tapping into the current appetite for dystopian narratives while also offering pulse-pounding action. The original Wolfenstein game released in 1981 as Castle Wolfenstein was a pioneer, but it was the 2001 release Return to Castle Wolfenstein that really set the tone for the modern entries. Fast forward to the latest in the series Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus in 2017, which has been praised for its narrative depth and character development. The game even introduced a spin-off Wolfenstein Youngblood in 2019, which shifts the focus to BJ's twin daughters in the 1980s. Expanding the narrative into a new generation. This depth of story and character evolution provides a wealth of material for a series adaptation, where each season could explore different facets of this alternate universe, from BJ's initial battles to his daughters taking up the mantle in a continuing fight for freedom. With a commitment to character-driven storytelling, Wolfenstein could be transformed into a cinematic spectacle that captures the essence of the game's thrilling action and its underlying message about resilience of the human spirit. If you're enjoying this deep dive into what could be the next big thing in entertainment, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for more content. We've got plenty more where this came from, and you won't want to miss what's coming next. Soaring into our number 5 spot is Mass Effect, a saga that stands as a pillar of sci-fi gaming. This series could be the cornerstone for a new age of science fiction television combining the exploratory spirit of Star Trek with the complex political intrigue of Game of Thrones. Rather than retreading the familiar path of Commander Shepard, why not delve into uncharted territories of the Mass Effect universe, such as the First Contact War. This pivotal moment when humanity first clashes with the alien Turians offers a goldmine of drama and tension. Imagine a series that chronicles these early volatile days in the galaxy, exploring how humans integrate into the interstellar community. It's a narrative filled with political maneuvers, fragile alliances, and the occasional burst of interspecies conflict, all woven into the fabric of a universe teeming with diverse cultures and life forms. Mass Effect is ripe for adaptation into a serialized drama that dives deep into themes of technology, power, and identity, echoing the moral complexities of shows like Battlestar Galactica. Each season could open a new chapter in this expansive universe, perhaps starting with the gritty, tense beginnings of interstellar diplomacy and warfare. And expanding into the broader galaxy with its myriad challenges and stories. This approach not only respects the epic scope of the original games, but also offers potential spin-offs that could explore other tales within the Mass Effect universe. Stories that fans have yearned to see, but have been barely touched by the games. With its rich lore, intricate character dynamics, and a setting that spans an entire galaxy, Mass Effect could set a new standard for what science fiction series can achieve on screen. It's an opportunity to blend the depth of space exploration with the intense personal and political dramas that drive some of the best narratives in the genre today. And number four, Streets of Rage punches its way into our list. First launched on the Sega Genesis in 1991, this iconic beat-em-up has recently roared back into the spotlight with the release of Streets of Rage 4, proving its enduring appeal. So just imagine translating this franchise into a gritty, stylish crime thriller series. Set it against the backdrop of a city overrun by crime and corruption, it could channel the intense, visceral spirit of Daredevil or the relentless action akin to John Wick. I can picture our heroes, former police officers turned vigilantes navigating a neon-lit urban jungle. They combat the decay of their city with fists and grit, each episode a mixture of exhilarating action sequences and deep dives into the personal drives and demons of each character. Streets of Rage could offer a raw look at vigilante justice packed with adrenaline and pumping fight scenes and a synth-heavy soundtrack, pulling in viewers into its pulse-pounding 
existing world. The narrative simplicity of the original games means there's ample room for creative freedom, allowing writers to explore a variety of storylines without being tethered tightly to existing lore. This openness makes Streets of Rage ripe for adaptation into an exhilarating action drama adventure where the essence of the games forms the foundation of a new expansive narrative canvas. At number 3, Grand Theft Auto roars into our discussion with the potential to redefine television storytelling as an anthology TV series. Now hear me out, this one I'm extremely excited to share with you. Each season of this could transport us to a different iconic locale from the franchise. Liberty City's gritty streets, Vice City's neon-soaked beaches, or San Andreas' sprawling urban chaos. Inspired by anthology giants like True Detective and American Horror Story, every season could reset the narrative introducing a new ensemble of characters embroiled in stories of crime, ambition, and survival. Oh, I want to watch this so bad, and it doesn't exist. The Grand Theft Auto series, launched by Rockstar Games, revolutionized the open-world genre with its blend of biting satire, sprawling urban landscapes, and deeply interactive worlds. GTA V, released in 2013, not only shattered sales records by earning $1 billion within its first three days, making it the fastest-selling entertainment product in history, but it also remains one of the highest-grossing titles ever, thanks to its ongoing popularity online. With the game gaming community buzzing with anticipation for GTA 6, the timing for a show could not be better. A TV series launched in parallel with the new game could achieve new levels of epic, capturing the zeitgeist in a way few other series could dream of. This Grand Theft Auto TV series wouldn't just be about high-speed chases and explosive heists, it would delve deep into the American dream, flipped on its head, in a landscape where every choice has stark consequences. Each season would explore the societal, moral, and human ramifications of the characters' lives, offering viewers a complex look at the consequences of crime and power. It's a concept I would love to see explored, promising thrilling narrative arcs set against the backdrop of some of the most iconic cities in gaming history. Now, at our number two spot, we have another gem from Rockstar Games, Red Dead Redemption. Released in 2010, this game offered a cinematic look at the fading American frontier, capturing the essence of the Old West with its sprawling landscapes and deeply narrative-driven gameplay. But it was Red Dead Redemption 2, released in 2018, that elevated the franchise to new heights. Bigger and better in every way, Red Dead Redemption 2 played out like an epic Western miniseries. Reminiscent of classics like Lonesome Dove, the story of Arthur Morgan, a deeply complex outlaw, and his gang struggles as they face the inevitable encroachment of modern society felt like watching a high-stakes drama unfold. This could be the foundation for a sweeping Western drama series exploring themes of freedom, redemption, and the relentless push of the modern world. Following the tales of characters like John Marsden or Arthur Morgan, or perhaps introducing new characters within the same universe, the series would delve into their struggles to cling to a fading way of life. The potential series could blend the epic scale of Hell on Wheels with the nuanced character drama of Peaky Blinders, all while adding more dust and grit typical of a classic western. If it's shot with the cinematic beauty of the expansive landscapes and the intimate drama of its characters, Red Dead Redemption could bring the western genre back to prominence with a modern twist. The series could explore the deep, poignant narratives that are as brutal as they are beautiful, offering a rich tapestry of stories that reflect the complex morality of the time. With each episode, viewers could dive deeper into the lives of outlaws on the run from the encroaching forces of civilization, providing a raw and unflinching look at the American frontier through the lens of those who tried to defy it. And finally, at number one, we have The Elder Scrolls. After the astonishing success of the Fallout TV series, which drew in 65 million viewers in just 16 days on Amazon, it's a strategic move for Amazon to secure another deal with Bethesda right away. The Elder Scrolls sets the stage for a vast epic series similar to Game of Thrones spread across the richly varied realms of Tamriel. Each season could explore different regions and stories, from the political machinations in the Imperial City to the enigmatic wilds of Skyrim, each chapter steeped in history and conflict. This series debuted in 1994 with Arena laying the foundation for what would become one of gaming's most expansive franchises. But it was Skyrim that released in 2011 that propelled the series to iconic status, mesmerizing players with its detailed world and 
than open-ended gameplay. The game's longevity is fueled by ongoing re-releases and a robust modding community that continuously rejuvenates its world. Moreover, The Elder Scrolls Online keeps fans engaged with fresh narratives and the continuous expansion of its universe through an MMO format. I just think with a capable creative team, a TV adaptation of The Elder Scrolls could weave narratives that span the spectrum from intimate character studies to massive sweeping conflicts. This series wouldn't just translate a popular game into a show, it would craft an immersive narrative experience that resonates with both longtime fans and newcomers. With its intricate backstory, complex characters, and a universe that spans an entire continent, The Elder Scrolls is poised to be not just a reflection of its source material, but a benchmark in fantasy storytelling. And there you have it, the top 10 video games that could make phenomenal movies or TV series. Do you agree with our picks? What games would you add to the list? Drop your thoughts and suggestions in the comments below and let's keep the conversation going. If you found this discussion intriguing, please give us a like, hit that subscribe button and click the bell so you don't miss any of our future explorations. Here on Back to the Podcast, we dive into everything past, present, and future about filmmaking. I'm Chris Lawler and I look forward to bringing you more insights and discussions next time right here on Back to the Podcast. Oh,